trigger warning. Because I... Y'all not about to come for me. Y'all not about to turn it on me. I know how you barbs like to turn it, and you're not going to turn it on me. I love me some Nicki Minaj, but Cardi B is the queen of hip hop. <laughs> I'm not laughing at Cardi. I'm not laughing at the barbs. I'm laughing at the fact that Halle Berry thought that she was the person to deem the new queen. Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. These are the actuals and factuals where I give you the daily updates. Daily, 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 daily. Yes, yes, daily and consistent updates on LGBTQ plus news, celebrity news, fashion, beauty, culture, everything under the sun, you know? <sighs> All right, so let's just get on to it. <laughs> so this past Saturday, Halle Berry was at a premiere for her new movie, Bruce, which she directed and starred in. The actress looked amazing. She had on a completely silver three-piece set, I'd say, nice fitted pants, not too tight at the bottom. It wasn't really a boot cut. It wasn't really like a regular fit. It was tailored with a nice bustier or corset. It depends on how you view it, how you see it. To me, it's a corset, but another bitch will call it a, a bustier. It's whatever. A cropped uh, jacket, which I, I love a crop jacket. I have a million crop jackets. I feel like they go with everything. They can dress anything up. And they can also dress something that's like super dressy down a little bit. But that's not, that, like, that's neither here nor there. We're not here to talk about the fashion. Now, when Halle Berry does make this <laughs> huge statement, it wasn't like she just came out and was like, yo, Cardi B is the new queen of hip hop. It's not like she ever disregarded Nicki Minaj. I think she was just so excited being on stage, having this project come out, and knowing that, like, this soundtrack was going to be hella impactful because it's an all-female rap, like, well, it's an all-female soundtrack. So, I just think that the lady was mad excited. Say thank you today to Cardi B. She was my partner in crime. I reached out to her. Of course, she's the queen of hip hop. The queen of hip hop. The queen of hip hop. Queen of hip hop. I reached out to Cardi and we paired and we created, I think, a soundtrack and an album that is not only historic, but I think is a beautiful backdrop for the story. I think Halle meant a few things by that, not necessarily saying that Cardi B is the only queen of hip hop you know there are a lot of queens in the world queens of different countries um and i don't think she was saying that Nicki minaj is no longer the queen of hip hop i think that hallie was speaking more so on relevant issues and relevant influence you know cardi b has a very strong following when it comes to her influence because she started off as an influencer and anytime you're doing something that's making money you want somebody that you know is going to pull the influence. It's no shade, it's no tea. Let's be real about the situation. Hallie knew, if I put Cardi on this, it's going to be some viral sensations that can come from this. It's going to be a lot of press. It's, you know, seemingly going to be all positive because Nicki Minaj has not had the best press lately. So I think that there were a lot of things that went into her making that statement, not her necessarily listening to both of their discographies and being like, oh, this one is better than this one. I highly doubt that. But I highly doubt that. But the key, the real key is that while that happened on Saturday, the very next day at the MTV, uh, the MTV EMAs, Winnie Harlow announces that Nicki Minaj has won an award and she announces her as the one and only queen of hip hop. And everybody goes crazy. Um, I don't know if the fans in the audience that were clapping going crazy necessarily knew the shade that when he was throwing, because that was shade. There's no tea. There's no tea. Hallie, I think that that was just Hallie being Hallie and her world of Hallie Berry. <laughs> but when he was given, I don't know what Hallie Berry is talking about. So I'm going to make it known. The one and only queen of hip hop, Nicki Minaj. Which, I mean, listen, listen. Clearly, when he's a barb, we know how hard the barbs go. So. Anybody should be very careful saying anything about their mother. I think if Hallie knew better, she would have done better. That's all. <laughs> I feel like there's going to be more to this story. And y'all know I'm going to bring y'all the updates. So it's been real and it's been fun. But it ain't been real fun. Stick with me for actuals and factuals. Bye.